everyone! I've never made a video standing up before, but yes I am. Um, this video is to show you how to cut your shirt. This was a basic t-shirt, and I turned it into this, with the weaving in the back. So, here it is, and enjoy! Okay, so for this style of cutting, you don't want to do this on a shirt that's way too big for you. Maybe something that's two to three sizes bigger, or even one size bigger, but you don't want to do it to one that's any bigger than that. You could, but you'll just be weaving forever. So the first thing is, you want to, you can iron the shirt if you need to. I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to be sloppy. But, you want to make sure to line up the sleeves. Because you want to have, and line up the seams like that. Because what you want is you want a nice crisp line right down the back. Okay? Then you're going to take your sewing scissors and you are just going to cut off the bottom part of the shirt. So right here, let me see if you guys can see that, right here, right where the seam is, you're just going to cut that strip off. All the way around. Okay, now that that's cut, you want to cut half inch strips, so there's a ruler, I don't know if you guys can see that. You just want to cut little strips that are about half an inch apart. You can take them partially in, or you can take them all the way over here if you'd like to. I'm going to take mine about three quarters of the way in. Also, I recommend doing this on a hard surface okay so now as you're getting closer to the top of the neck you can decide if you want this just to be like a regular t-shirt and you're not going to cut off the arms or if you're going to cut off the arms and cut the neckline, you can do that either now or you can do it later. But I'm for right now, just so I can just show you guys the simple t-shirt method, I'm just going to cut it right up here to like the middle of the where the arm is. So I'm probably just going to add like two more strips, maybe three. Okay, so now that that is all done, this is what the shirt looks like. So you have all these little strips, and t-shirt material is very stretchy. So now what you're going to want to do is you have to take all of those strips, and you want to stretch them out. Because you want them to ball up. So you want to hold the t-shirt right here, and just pull that right along. So see how it makes this nice little curled up strip. And you want to make sure that you're getting the ends also. That's why you want to do it one by one one at a time because you can go like this if you're trying to rush, but then what will happen is that the ends won't be curled as well and you need those to be curled and you will see why in a minute. Okay, so now as you can see, these strips are like this. Now, I've seen people just wear their shirts just like this, but I'm going to show you a more interesting way. So, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab the first two from the top. You can start from the bottom if you want to also. I'm going to start from the top, though. So you want to grab your second one, and you're going to go under the first one and over it. 
okay, like that. Then, you're going to grab the third one and go under that, under and over. Same with the fourth, under and over. Fifth, under and over. And you're just going to continue down the line. Make sure that you're careful that you are grabbing the next one that's in line because at the end we are going to cut it and we're going to anchor this whole little weaving process down. So you want to make sure that you don't miss any. So again, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, Okay, so now we're at the last one. So I only have one more to go under and over. So under and over. So now what we're going to do with that last one is we're just going to cut it right in the middle. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that piece and I am going to tie a knot right at the edge and that's going to pull hold this hold that piece into place and there you have it it's weaved into place one time now i'm going to try this on and i'm going to see if i want to do it a second time so now, as you guys can see, it just looks like a regular t-shirt from the front, but the back looks like this. And honestly, it's a little too loose fitting for me. It kind of feels a little funny, so I'm actually going to weave it up one more time, and then I'm probably going to cut this, because this is just fitting kind of funky for my style. Okay, so I just cut this part, the neckline, and the sleeves, and I weaved it up for a second time, so now the shirt looks like this in the front, and like this in the back, but I'm still not happy with it. I don't really like the way that it's fitting me, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take some of the pieces, let me show you, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these pieces from the sleeves, and I'm actually going to cut strips out of them and pinch it together and pinch it together right here. So I'll show you guys that. Okay, so now I have a shirt that looks like this. As you can see, I tied up this side. I left this side like this just to show you. You can keep it very asymmetrical if you want to. I also weaved it three times. So a total of three times. I did it one more time. Looks like that. Um, yeah, so then for this, I'm going to show you guys. So then for this, like I said, I cut a strip from part of the sleeve, and all I'm doing is I'm just wrapping that around, and just keep wrapping it around, and you can choose whether you want these to dangle in the front or not. Let me get close to the camera so that you all can see. But yeah, you can just keep wrapping, 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 whatever. Like on this side, I wrapped it around and I kind of tucked the pieces in the back. But I might change this around later, so I'm just doing it for the video. But there we go. So now, I have a t-shirt that looks like this. And yeah cute and you know what you can also do it on larger t-shirts you don't have to weave it that many times I just wanted to for myself I hope you guys learned something and I hope I gave you an idea of something that you can do with your old or your new t-shirts that are too big for you so yeah I'll talk to all of you soon